It is so hard. There's a body shot. Longest reigning champion in boxing. There is a body shot from Mar There is that body shot from Mar and now Maxile connected open at times as Maxile was able to counter. But Maxile from the Philippines, Maxile seven years younger. So there you have it, main event set. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official introductions. It's showtime! 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Mark Maxile. His record stands at 31 wins, one loss. Introducing uh, Gary Russell. Up at all times. Trunks are good, touch him up. And here we go. Trained by Freddie Roach and Russell, on the other hand, making a six world title defense. I can't force guys to fight me. There's fights I want. Longest reigning champion in boxing. This is certainly going to be a chess match in there as he continues to use that quick jab. Not as active as what many people would like. He said, I am a champion and I deserve to fight another champion. He is quick. Moxile last fought against Julio Seja in August of 2021. A game changer. Gary Russell certainly aware of that. Fighting another rising contender. He's one of the guys like Leo Santa Cruz, Gervonta Tank David. And there's a nice uppercut from him. For 2,493 days, he won it. And there is that. That's perfect with your punches. You're rolling underneath. Uh, uppercut. That's it. You got to stop rolling your jab, man. Right? Take him away from his left hand. Don't Round two. He must see something with Russell and the way he comes in. A fight against Maxayo. Maxayo was down. And there's a short left. That's something you have to do with a guy like Maxayo. Maxayo is looking to change that. There's Maxayo is looking for. And there's that uppercut again when he does engage with Maxile. There's that. Likes to dart in. It is so hard. And there's a body shot. Russell is on high alert. It's each of his fights. And there's that left hand for that uppercut. And Russell back into the box. And now Mixayo again. And also trying to time up Mixayo and Mixayo trying to do the same. And I think it is so that overhand right, not positive. Might have been. I got hit by him. Round three. <laughs> and you heard Gary Russell. But nonetheless, you're starting to see the aggressiveness of Gary Russell. As Russell's in his southpaw stance. Moxile, because his footwork is so clean. Good Moxile. There's a jab again from Russell. Anticipating, always adjusting within rounds. And there you see. There is a body shot from his life here tonight. And there's Russell at the event center of the Bogota Hotel, Casino, and Spa. Become a world champion. Back into the box. And then a straight left again. Connected for Maxile of the Philippines are also looking closely. There's an overhand left by Magnifico. And now Russell. Now Maxile. And Russell's such a student of the Mark in this fight. Russell. 
You a good body movement, bro? Fuck him up. Don't fuck him around, bro. You don't got no play. Yeah, I was playing. Goddamn. Round four of this championship bout as have to watch their head butts. And there is uh, Russell. And now he connects his, to see that on his face alone. Is, and he did say he had an undisclosed injury and there's that left hand just caught. Sile again just, and it looks like he's hanging his right arm. Certainly we will take a look at what happened there. And there's that ult. As Russell used the momentum of, of Moxile coming forward. Be that aggressive. Something. Russell. But Moxile's confidence has got to be growing here. So he could be on a timeline. A body shot. And Russell may be hurt. And now Russell. Use it from Russell. And there's the end. Glove. And that was in the inside. And really pressed the action on Russell. He feels well enough to continue on here in round five. Through this fight, I'm just noticing he is not throwing that right hand at all. And now Moxal really, and he said he was good. Said he can punch. So, and there's that. Coming forward, overhand right. And there's some body shots from Mar How much Russell will throw that right hand now? I'd be curious to see. Russell has not thrown that right hand yet. If Moxile hasn't picked up it on it. on Russell. And Russell wants him to come forward a little bit more. And there he goes, gets. And on Moxile. Moxile with the big uppercut. And there's a left hook. And in here, the rest of the way. Relying just on his left hand now. Stalking Russell. Using one hand, and there he knocks Moxile off balance. Moxile comes still looking for that uppercut. Again. And he is, and Russell again, still has some quickness, and there's a body shot. He is certainly trying to use all his tools that he can available to him. Nice combination, nice punches. I forgot beautiful. And Russell as difficult as possible for Russell. And there's Maxile again. But Russell trying to rely. He wasn't going to throw that much coming into this fight. And there's that left hand. You know you have Russell hurt. He should have been able to pick up on. And there's a left hand again on the chin. Fence and, you know, picks his shots. He, he relies more and more aggressive with the left hand when Mike Sile gets in close, but he nine punches thus far. Russell only 40. Takes a left hand, but he was able to deliver one of his own. You can set. Hey, listen. Now he's getting a little frustrated. He's getting a little. Round eight. But as we said last round, I mean, McSyle been the more active fighter, more aggressive. Chasing Russell around the ring, and there's that overhead. Our two years ago, he started to slow down in the second half of that fight. And there's that overhand right again from McSyle. I'm interested to see. And then back into the body. And there is that stiff, a two-year layoff. 
balanced. You want to put that pressure on him. A ball of energy. Backing Maxayo up a bit and now. And now Russell smiling a bit. There is that body shot from And now we resume action here of round nine. Every single time Maxayo's been able to press forward here in round nine. Maxayo's got to figure out a way to change up the angles a little bit. Back into the, this is still anyone's fight. I mean, Russell's been fighting with one hand, essentially. Maxayo walked right into a left, and Russell around. And now Maxayo is it. Now Russell using that left. And there's a, a, a. Back side. Try to anticipate when Maxayo's coming forward. And now Russell back into the body. Defense is incredible. But just hasn't been enough. You understand me? You got your double left hand? I need you to come up a little bit. Yo, fine. Let's go. Come on, come on. There. Miguel Flores here, premier boxing champions here in Atlantic City. And now Maxayo has Russell in the corner. This is where. Walking Russell down. It's a straight left from McSayo. That left hand, that's when you leave yourself open, want some shorter shots. And now McSayo left. The only punch he's been able to throw. And now McSayo connected. This way you don't allow him to move as much as he has. Now body shot. Connected on. With that straight left flush. There are some body shots from. And now Russell. Now, Maxile. And also, Dan. You start, you see at times some Freddie Roach let Maxile know we need two more rounds like the last round. Maxile still chasing Russell down. Back into the box. I'm sure it's a frustrating night for Russell. This is. We are in the championship rounds. Russell in the black trunks, Maxayo in the... But it's certainly not ideal conditions. Now again, Manny's one of one. And now Maxayo. Both guys at certain moments will dart forward. But... There. I need you. That's wrong, good luck. That's what... Come on. The 12th and final round. Trying to make his sixth world title defense. Russell with an uppercut. There's a three punch. Now Russell is in. Both guys, you have Mike Siles section. Mike Siles. There's an uppercut connected on Mike Siles. And now, there's a, he certainly has the punches, the volume. And now you're starting to hear the Gary Faithful. Minute and a half to go. To come out victorious, Russell with a huge overhand left. Hasn't been able to throw it at all. By Russell to close the final round. And Maxayo was able to take it. Russell did have land a, several clean shots. See, both men, neither had bad blood toward each other. 
So now we are awaiting the scorecards. We have a majority decision, 115 to 113. Max 115-113, so it was extremely close. I gave him a boxing lesson. I gave him a boxing lesson the whole way through. Please believe I will be back. I still want these fights. I felt like I still won the fight, to be honest with you. But once again, I'm a true soldier. I'm a dog at the end of the day.